so I had a request from a client for something that would save them time. They routinely do CIS audits. Um, so it's not a complicated workflow, but it's a workflow that saves someone from connecting to MS Online, running PowerShell, collating data, you know, making a file, all that stuff. Um, so it's fairly straightforward. Uh, it's all Exchange Online actions. Um, where we first basically check to see if the automatic ingestion of audit log configs is enabled. Uh, we then check to see if auditing is enabled at a at an org level and also for each individual mailbox. Um, and then this last section here takes all the data, collates it into an HTML file. <clears throat> Ideally, when this is is done and delivered, it's going to upload that file to IT Glue. Um, but for the purposes of this, I, I have a forked version in my environment that just posts, uh, it just uh, allows us to get it back out of a webhook. Um, and in addition to here, it's basically just, you know, running the commands, um, finding just that one little bit of information using Jinja. Again, nothing really complex, but time saving. I do have a template here, which allows us to take the data and put it into HTML format. Um, and it basically has results like this, um, where you remember the report, it tells you if I enabled or disabled, if, if ingestion is there, it'll give you the display name, the email address of the users and whether audit is enabled or not. So again, hey, uh, Gregory, I, uh, I, I don't think you're screen my, sharing yeah. fully. No, I, I know it's teams. So I, I apologize. Here is the um, <clears throat> template that I'm using where I just take the, the aliases that I had in the workflow. We put them into this uh, HTML template. And then to switch to the last page, you can see kind of how it's it's all shown at the end. Again, nothing really complex. However, you can imagine how much time you would save doing this across 10, 20 organizations you know, all the time. Um, that's basically it.